Hello, this is Thane Morgan from Thane's Games. Today I want to teach you how to play the first phase of Terranus, the Game of Gods. The first phase is the creation phase, where the gods build the world the rest of the game will be played upon. They do this by placing world tiles, each with four different types of terrain on them. Red hills, blue mountains, yellow plains, and green forests. The gods each take turns placing tiles until all gods have placed ten of them. Gods earn points for each world tile they place and can earn bonus points by marking the most of each terrain type as they go. For this phase, each god places 10 round tribe tokens and their 10 square temple tokens on their player mat. One round token is discarded each time the god places a tile on the board. When they run out of tribe tokens, they have placed their 10 tiles and may place no more. The square temple tokens are used to mark terrain features for bonus points but I'll explain more about that later. On their turn, a god draws two world tiles and can do one of three things. They can play one tile and discard the other. They can play one tile and then play the other. Or, if the god does not like either tile, they may discard both and draw a third, but then they must play that one. The god should draw their two tiles after they finish their turn, so that they can be thinking about placement for their next turn ahead of time. Though it is technically a rectangle, each world tile has six triangular edges and a full center square. When a world tile is placed on the board, it must connect to at least one edge of an existing tile, though the more edges that touch, the better the play scores. All edges that touch another tile must match, so a complete square of just one terrain type comes out of each pair of triangular edges. As tiles are placed, terrain features can be completed by becoming completely surrounded by other features, such as they can no longer grow. For example, in the top placement, a two-square forest and a two-square mountain are completed by the placement of the tile. Completing terrain features scores extra points, one point per square of terrain feature that was completed. Points are also earned based on the number of edges the god matched up when placing the tile. A god that matches just one edge earns zero points for it. That is really easy after all. They may still earn points for completing terrain features though. For example, in the one edge placement, a three square mountain feature was completed, so the player would earn three total points. Matching two edges in a play is worth two points, plus whatever features were completed. This is the most common play in the creation phase. In the example, the player also completed two two-square features for four extra points, so the play was worth six points total. Getting three edges is worth five points, plus any other features. In the example, the player has also completed five squares worth of terrain features, so would earn ten total points for the play. Finally, getting four or more edges to match is worth eight points. In the example, the player has completed four features of eight total squares by placing the tile in the center of the hook of existing tiles, and so would earn 16 points total. There is one other way to earn points when a tile is placed, and that is by completely encircling an open space with tiles, which then becomes a lake. This requires totally surrounding it with tiles. Leaving a corner open like at the start of the example does not count. But once a lake is completed, it scores three points for each half tile it is in size. After a god places a tile and takes their points for the play in victory point markers, the god may also mark any feature they completed with one of their temple pieces. Once a god claims a feature, no other god can claim it. A god can claim multiple features on their turn if they completed multiple features by the placement of the tile. A god may also claim the center square of the tile they just placed, even if it did not become part of a completed feature. This allows a god to plan ahead to claim a feature they believe will grow large and be finished in the future. At the end of the creation phase, the gods count up how many squares of a terrain type they marked, and the god who controlled the most of that type earns five bonus points. Only completed features are counted. If gods are tied for first place, they earn two bonus points each. This is done for each terrain type, so the gods compare for hills, forests, plains, and mountains, and can earn bonus points for each of them. This ends the creation phase. 
the players write down their scores and return their victory point markers back into the victory point pool. The board is now empty and is ready for the gods to populate it with tribe tokens in the next phase. And those are the rules of the creation phase. The process gives you an organically grown board that will be different every time you play it. No two games will ever be the same. I'll be producing videos for the other three phases in the near future. Please stay tuned.